Patagonia Lithium is drilling deeper than ever before over at their Formentaria Lithium Project. Here to tell me more is Executive Chair Phil Thomas. Phil, it's great to see you again. How are you? Likewise, Shay. Very well. Uh, now, let's kick off. Look, I sort of gave away the big news at the start of today's conversation. You are drilling 200 metres deeper at your Formentera project over in Argentina. Why is that? That's right. We're, we're drilling uh, down to 600 metres because we want to achieve a couple of things. The first thing is we want to try and work out where the basement is. And that's important because it impacts our mineral resource estimate. Um, currently, we've got 551,000 tonnes of lithium carbonate equivalent, which is if at a 10,000 ton plant is about 50 year mine life. Um, so we'll probably increase that further down the track, but we will got to work out the basement so we can increase the mineral resource estimate, um, which hopefully will impact the share price. And then follow on from that, we will do um, a seismic survey um, to once we can correlate the, the lithology and uh, to the seismic survey, and then we'll know how deep it is in other parts of the of the Formentera project. Uh, it, there could be much more mineralisation at depth. Don't you have neighbours in the region that have had uh, a lot of success below 400 metres? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, Integra Natural Resources drilled about four or 500 metres away, and uh, they went down to 520 metres and stopped. It was still open at depth, which is which was good. Um, and they advise us that um, the drilling log lithology from our hole number three was very, very close and could be correlated to their well. But what was more surprising was they got over 600 ppm at 520 uh, metres below uh, the um, collar. So uh, that augurs well for us uh, in terms of the probability of hitting uh, a very high uh, lithium, uh, very, very low resistivity area. So what will be the outcome of all this drilling? Okay, our, our final destination is to do a definitive feasibility study and get into production. But there's a few things along the way that we have to achieve. Um, the first is we want to uh, go to an indicated resource and we want about 50% of our resource um, at the indicated um, status. From there, we, the ASX will allow us to put out a, a um, scoping study, and that scoping study will basically cover all the issues in terms of plant, drilling, uh, pipelines, uh, building warehouses, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that's, that's an important milestone for us. And then once we've got that scoping study completed and accepted, uh, we can go to the pre-feasibility study or a definitive feasibility study um, parallel. You may be interested to know that we're actually putting in a permit right now uh, for the um, EcoSolve plant, which is the direct lithium extraction technology we're using. Uh, so obviously there is a lot of work to be done over the next few months, but what are sort of some of the news flow items investors can look forward to hearing about between now and the end of the year? Look, we'll be putting out the assays, um, which are very important um, at depth. And with this particular drill rig, we're doing 30 metre packet tests. So um, over 600 metres, um, we, we should have um, something like 30 um, tests come out um, and that gives us statistical confidence as well. Um, from there, we'll basically um, publish the seismic survey. From there, we'll publish the um, porosity from the um, borehole magnetic resonance survey and that'll probably finish the well. Um, and then from there on, we'll publish the, uh, the scoping study Sorry, we'll publish the resource update, mineral resource update will be done, and uh, and then we'll publish the scoping study. So lots of things happening between now and um, and second quarter next year. Uh, certainly sounds like it. I'll be keeping my eye on future updates, and I wish you the best of success as you work towards 600 metres in depth. Phil, thank you so much for being here today, and I look forward to the next update. A pleasure. Thanks, Shay.